Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to create a magic circle along with the aura that comes out of it. So to get started, let's add in a plane. And then we're going to go to shading tab. Add a new material, a magic circle. Delete the print of BSDF. And so we're just going to add in a, uh, a texture, uh, image texture. So I got one I downloaded from uh, just searching online. Drag it in here. And then let's see what this looks like. And here's the texture. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make it transparent. So let's add in a emission shader and then a MPSDF and a mix shader to mix them. Part the transparent to the top, emission to the bottom. And we're going to add texture on the factor. Now we have this. We don't see anything right now, so let's change our blend mode in the material properties. Change the blend mode to a clip, shadow mode to none, purity shadows. Alright, so here's our texture. Now we want to control the transparency, so let's add in a color ramp. Set this to constant. And we'll flip this. And right about there it seems okay. Alright, and we actually have to choose our color in an emission. Let's try to make this our reference here, which is red. Dark red. Now you can increase the strength of the emission a bit here. And we can also enable the bloom so we can have some kind of gradient fading in the render properties here. So, bloom. All right, so that's it for the. Uh, the circle stuff since we're just using a image texture that's uh, pretty fairly simple. So now let's make the these uh, magical aura. The aura. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a cylinder. We go into edit mode, and then we're going to select the faces, like the face selector, and Delete the top and the bottom face. Next to delete faces. And next we're going to add in a seam. So click our edge select. Select any edge. Right click and mark seam. Now we're going to open up our UV editor. So I'm just going to open a new panel here since it's Easier. I'm going to change to UV editor. All right, so now I'm going to select while in edit mode. I'm going to select all of our edges, press U, and then unwrap. Well, now we have this unwrapped here. Now we have to just drag these vertices and drag it around the axis to fill in the whole box. And that's all we need to do for this one. We can go back here and fix it out of the edit mode. Let's shade smooth it and make a new material. Magic aura. 
Alright, so first let's start making the lines. Delete the pins of PSDF and then do add in a noise texture. What we're gonna make our lines with. Let's move this over so we can see. Okay, we want the lines to stretch from top to bottom, so we're going to add in a texture corner and then have it only on the one. Corner. We're using the UVs. Let's add in another separate XYZ. UVs, and then we're going to use the Y corners only. Now we see there's just vertical lines here, like this. Now we can um, add in the color ramp. You kind of control the variation of the lines and how much lines we get. Scale you know, this to get as many lines as we want. Let's see. All right, so now let's make it transparent. We're going to add in the, the emission and PSDF and later. It's a top emission to the bottom. And let's use color ramp as the factor. And we also, we have to change the blend mode. Is alpha blend. Okay, so it's kind of looking like it. Change the color. Red. So let's um, actually make this more of a cone shape. So let's at the top vertice in edit mode. Scale them up, you know, go out, but it's kind of like this. So we have our lines, um, but we don't want them all the way to the edge like this. We kind of have to have it another factor to block off um, so it kind of doesn't stop and have a straight line like this. We're going to mix in another factor. Um, so to do that, we're going to add in another color ramp, and this time set to Beast, and we're going to use the X coordinates only. So let's see what this looks like. We want the black to be on the top. The black is going to be the area that's now going to be affected. But is the way we're going to see. So kind of like this much. Maybe around in the middle like this. All right, so now all we got to do is uh, mix these two together. Add in a color ramp. Mix RGB. We set this one to multiply. Connect the first one to the first color, the second color to the second color. See this one. So you have our lines, but then the top part is kind of graded out. You use this.
as our factor and here we have this you could use the you don't want the lines you could use this uh factor on the mix rgb to control which one you want more or less if you don't want any of the lines maybe you just want this this area like this do this or if you don't want them where at all and just want lines here you can put it all the way up so now all we have to do is just um, put this on top of our magic circle here uh, let's move this kind of center it Here, scale this up. All right, so this is what it's kind of looks like after you center it. And then you can put in more if you, if you want. It is scale it in a minute. Two. I can think over here there's two. Middle circle and the outer circle. But that is the gist of it. Um, I hope this was uh, helpful. See you guys in the next one.